What's up guys, Houndish here, and today the non-stop hype for Season of Opulence began. Or at least, I think it did, man. People seem to be pretty excited for it. Let me know your thoughts about it down below, because of course we've already had the trailer. And in this video, we're going to break down a few additional bits about Season of Opulence, including new pinnacle weapons, a little bit more information about the Chalice of Opulence, which is how we're going to get rewards in the new season, some of the areas on Leviathan, and some year one reprise pieces of gear that are coming back to the game. So we're going to touch on that, some of the gameplay updates, and also, considering it is weekly reset in D2, I'm actually going to tack the reset video onto the end of this one to save triple uploading and absolutely spamming you guys. So should be an interesting one if you enjoy it, a like below is very much appreciated, but now let's get straight into it. So first up, let's talk about new pinnacle weapons before we touch on more of the other content coming in the game. So Bungie say every player of Destiny 2 will find their rank reset in the Crucible, Gambit and Vanguard missions. At higher ranks, Guardians will find rewards that double as both weapons and trophies earn the right to carry evidence of your prowess into battle. So these are the new pinnacle weapons coming into the game next week on June 4th. So we've got the Revoker as the PvP pinnacle sniper rifle. And it actually carries a similar model right there to the Trial Sniper from back in the day. But for the bonus, missed shots are returned to the magazine after a short duration. So any shot that you miss will actually go back into the mag, but there is kind of a timer between firing the shot and getting it returned to the mag, assuming you actually miss it. Of course, we don't know other stats and things like that for the weapon, considering it is a PvP weapon, you know, hopefully it's not going to have horrible flinch and sway and stuff like that. It kind of looks like we've got, is that an ambush scope on that thing? Can't be 100% certain, but it does sound like a pretty interesting weapon. So let us know your thoughts about that. The Vanguard will get the Wendigo GL3, a new grenade launcher where orbs of light increase blast radius and damage. Pretty interesting stuff. So presumably when you pick up an orb of light, or maybe when you produce them, not certain, but I'm guessing it's on pickup, you're going to get an increased blast radius and impact for that weapon. Presumably that's going to be on a timer. Finally though, Gambit is going to be getting a bow this time around, and it's called Hush. Hip-fired precision shots give a massive draw speed bonus. So if you can land a precision hit from hip fire, it's going to give a draw speed bonus for the weapon in general, which sounds pretty interesting. I think it's kind of a mixed bag with these. I think there will definitely be different opinions out there. So let us know your thoughts on them down below. What Bungie do also give us is a preview right here of some of the gear that we're going to see. Of course, we can see things like Truth, some of the armor pieces that will come from the Menagerie, which is the new activity on Leviathan, but also some year one reprises as well. We can see the Drang sidearm by the looks of things. Possibly Mida mini tool right there, Crown Splitter, as well as Eternity's Edge. So some interesting kind of reprise legendary pieces of gear. And on top of this, it would appear that we've got some returning exotics, things like Kepri Sting, which we can see for the Hunter there. So that's pretty cool. Of course, we've heard a little bit about the Power Surge quest. We know that Iron Banner is going to be returning, and there is a new quest in Season 7 to acquire some of the armor. Bungie talk a little bit more about the Menagerie on the Season of Opulence page here. So assembling your Chalice of Opulence is just the first step. Callus has crafted a maze of challenges in his Lost Vaults, test your strength in the all-new six-player matchmade activity, the Menagerie, and meet his challenges head-on to unlock your rewards. So we'll confront new challenges on an unexplored deck of Callus's massive ship, and that's some of the areas that we've seen in the trailer. On top of this, we can upgrade the Chalice of Opulence to better refine which gear you can earn. The Chalice of Opulence is going to be a sort of upgradable item. Maybe it'll work a little bit like the Holiday Oven from some of the events that we've seen. And it appears that we can see some of the icons here for those upgrades. On top of this, apparently, inside of the Menagerie mode, we'll be able to carve our way through ever-changing paths and enemies. So that sounds pretty cool. And if you do want to check out more of the trailer stuff and the reveal for the activities themselves, then I'll link my previous video below. On top of this, there is the new raid and the page simply says, seek out the most valuable treasures in the underbelly of the Leviathan, jump into the new Crown of Sorrow raid, and join the chase for Worlds First on day one. So a return to a section of the underbelly by the sounds of things. And then of course there is Solstice of Heroes, the free summer event. We'll be able to pursue Solstice armor, seek out Eva Levante in the tower to begin your pursuit of year two Solstice armor. Create elemental orbs by matching your elemental damage to the daily element, collect 30 orbs to gain the empowerment buff. On top of this, you can harness the power of the elements to optimize your pursuit of glory, while Moments of Triumph is still active. So interestingly, it sounds like we'll get some more kind of buffs, but I'm sure Bungie have taken some feedback from the revelry that we had recently. So there we go, guys. It's just a breakdown of some additional things that we've learned. We also get a good look right here 
at the new hand cannon icon, and we see this on the roadmap as the Lumina Quest. We did hear about Rose returning to the game, and I'm guessing this is maybe an updated version of that, or is a weapon that, you know, has some kind of association with it, but it's just cool to see a better representation of what it actually looks like. So there we go, guys. Just an additional breakdown right there of some of the stuff that we're going to see next week when Season of Opulence goes live, and I'd love to hear your thoughts about that. But right here, let's break down some of the weekly reset stuff for the final week inside of Season 6. So let's do this the normal way. On the direct tower, we have all of our powerful drops and stuff like that available for this week. And Io is going to be the flashpoint. So of course, more powerful gear as well as heroic adventures. Now do bear in mind, we have triple infamy inside of Gambit all week long. So plenty of opportunity to get points and do resets and all of that kind of stuff if you're still grinding. If it's Reckoning you're after though, we have Void Singe up right now, as well as Prism and Grenadier available for today. For the weekly Nightfalls, we've got the option of Warden of Nothing, the Insight Terminus, or the Arms Dealer, and of course those come with their own exclusive pieces of gear. And then we also have the Vanguard Strikes, and we've got Solar Singe up this week, as well as Iron and Brawler, but these two right here will roll out day over day. Then finally in the Crucible, Breakthrough is going to be the featured playlist right here. And then over at Hawthorne, we've got a couple of raid challenges. So we've got Forever Fight for Last Wish, and then to each their own for the Scourge of the Past. And according to Destiny Item Manager, the weekly Spider Bounty is going to be the Wanted Grave Tide Summoner. Then of course we have Eververse, and I'm pretty much just going to hover over these guys. I'm sure if there are any of these items that you want to pick up, then you'll probably spot them right there in the background. But of course, a lot of this inventory is going to refresh with new stuff next week, and that's on top of uh, all of the changes that Bungie announced for Eververse itself. And I'll link a video down below with further details about that if you did miss out on it. But uh, yeah, that pretty much sums up the Eververse stuff for this week. And of course, we still have a few bundles available um, for the Outbreak Prime and things like that. And the Guardian's Best Friend bundle, if you want to get a uh, little doggo emote right here, I suppose. Uh, interesting stuff. But now when it comes to the Escalation Protocol, the boss this week is going to be Nur Abath. I never know if I'm saying these names right, but it does mean that we can get the Escalation Protocol Shotgun. And that will be a random drop when you kill the EP boss. Over in Dreaming City though, we are on week 2 of the Curse Cycle. So next week is full Curse alongside the DLC launch. But the Ascendant Challenge for this week is going to be in the Shattered Ruins, which is accessed via the Spine of Keras. So if you need a location or gameplay for that, I'll run it at the end of the video. But now for some final warnings before Season of Opulence. In terms of Season 6 stuff, as we mentioned, Triumphs or Rewards listed as Season 6 exclusive cannot be completed after the end of this week. It's worth mentioning that that doesn't include Pinnacle Weapons, so most stuff is fine, but Bungie did warn us about a couple of vendor weapons, and that includes the Service Revolver, as well as Last Perdition for this season. Currently you can acquire them, but for a while after Season of Opulence launches, they won't be obtainable. They do say they'll be dropping an update in the future, which will make them obtainable once again from vendors. So something to bear in mind if you want one immediately, try and finish it up this week, otherwise it could be a little while before you can get it. Otherwise, we're pretty much greenlit to go until Bungie give us more details, and of course, I will be keeping you posted here with all of the news and that good stuff, so be sure to hit subscribe if you enjoy the content, guys. But if you've enjoyed this video, a like below is very much appreciated. Let me know if you're jumping in, grinding anything out before the end of this season, or if you're simply kind of waiting for next week. Let's chat away down in the comment section, but otherwise, thanks as always for tuning in, guys. This is the Ascendant Challenge for this week, and yeah, I hope you have an awesome day.
Guardian down. 